Dad was larger than life. He loved music, he lived music, and he inspired many others to do the same. I grew to love him and his love of music. Hi, I'm Karen Lake, and this is my husband, Tony. We are the parents of Thaddeus. On November 26, 2011, at the age of 22 years, our son Thad's life tragically ended due to the careless actions of a drunk driver. The day that he lost his life, the legacy of the Thaddeus Lake Music Foundation was born. Three weeks before his passing, he spoke to me in the kitchen of our home. And he said, Mom, I want to start a charity. I said, oh, for what? And he said, I want to start a charity so that all kids, if they want to learn an instrument, would be able to do so even if they can't financially afford it. After we lost Thaddeus, we knew exactly what we had to do. Drunken eyes, screeching wheels. And we had the genuine privilege of having support from many members of the music community. Here in Leduc, almost uh, within a week or so after the tragedy, um, a benefit was held where we raised approximately $8,000, which became the seed money then for um, this foundation that uh, was gelled around the expression of Thad's desire. It was an amazing uh, blessing, I guess, to have been told so directly what Thaddeus wanted before we lost him. Um, and in many ways, it suits his personality in that uh, he's getting us to do most of the work. <laughs> <laughs> Thad was formally trained in piano. He taught himself to play the guitar. He took drum lessons and learned to play the trumpet in band at school. Wherever there was an instrument around, Thad would pick it up and learn how to play it. That is so refreshing for us as parents to see that overflow to other people and to get the feedback from parents that say, thank you so much. We couldn't have done this without you. We couldn't have, our kids couldn't have had lessons and now they are just enjoying the rewards of that. Initially, my wife had to coax Daniel to practice. The last number of years, it's been, uh, it's been amazing because we don't have to coax him at all. He goes on his own to practice. He loves playing his guitar. He gets up every morning and that's one of his morning things. Before he's even had breakfast, he's already played some of his guitar. And it's really fun to watch because I've come downstairs hearing him and I'm not sure if it's him playing or his teacher playing now. So it's been really fun to listen to. He learns new songs and stuff and he always asks us to listen to him. He's very excited about it. So I think that's the, the greatest testament that, uh, that this foundation has uh, uh, blessed uh, Daniel in particular. So we had an old acoustic for me and I liked playing it because it, I just like playing the guitar because I think it sounds super cool and then with the electric guitar you can make different sounds with all the extended attachments so I I like playing guitar with making different noises that sound really cool and it's not just for music tuition and lessons it's also extends to um, school band trips that kids can't afford or their parents can't afford to send them on, they can still have that experience and we've had so much feedback about the value of that in their lives. I'm Val Barron. I have been a music teacher in the Leduc District, well the Black Gold School Division for 27 years and throughout that time uh, I've been involved with a variety of music trips some of my students have experienced some financial hardship and so with the fundraising that happened with the Thaddeus Lake Music Foundation it really helped single moms, uh, it helped families that, of parents that had just lost their job. One of the main festivals that the foundation contributed to was the Nationals which happened in a variety of places in Canada. Our first experience with that was in Richmond, BC uh, back in 2011. It's been a long-standing partnership between the foundation and myself and the schools here in Leduc. These trips are just invaluable. It's very exciting and uh, the, the foundation really made that possible for some kids to see parts of Canada that they may never see again. And a lot of students really emphasized that it allowed them to grow musically, which I think would make Thad smile. Uh, and Tony and Karen as well. I can't tell you enough the thousands of dollars and I'm not even exaggerating that the foundation uh, has provided for my families, my band families over the years has just been uh, so, I've been so thankful and so grateful for the foundation. 
My name is Diana Turner and I'm a board member with the Thaddeus Lake Music Foundation. I taught piano and voice lessons in the Leduc area for six years. There were several times where I had a very talented, very dedicated student who let me know that they were no longer able to take music lessons with me due to financial limitations. And having the foundation as a resource for those families at those times was incredible. I can think of five or six different faces as I'm talking about this of students who were able to continue to pursue their passion for music because of the Thaddeus Lake Music Foundation. Through those experiences and through teaching several of these students over the years, I wanted to get more involved with the foundation and I was able to do that through my connection with Karen Lake. Um, she was my piano teacher for many years um, and inspired me to become a piano teacher as well. Uh, I've known the Lake family for quite some time and when the foundation was formed, I volunteered to be part of the board and just because I knew who Thaddeus was, I saw him in action and really appreciated his love of music and, and wanted to spread that to others as I know he would want that. It has been a great pleasure and honor to work alongside the other board members and Karen Lake with the Thaddeus Lake Music Foundation to continue to have an impact on musicians in the Leduc area. One of the benefits of, um, of what we've been doing, of course, is having children who have expressed an interest but couldn't afford to get into it, basically try it out and see where their passion might lead them. More often than not, it's a continuation for these people. It's a, it's a pro progress. They get into it with uh, some initial lessons from either the Boys and Girls Club or one of the teachers that works with us, and then they want to continue pursuing that. And uh, depending on their ec economic circumstances, we may be able to continue subsidizing them, or as things progress, they often are able to partly subsidize their own tuition fees, etc. But we've been able to work with them to achieve that. And indeed, not only funding through the loan of instruments as well, um, through the generous support of many people in the community we've been donated. We've got quite a few instruments that have been generously donated and right now they're being stored with the intention of starting Thad's Mill that is a music instrument lending library in collaboration with the Arts Foundry. People in the community will be able to borrow instruments to try out, to use for a while and to experience again the joy of music. I keep a book in my studio, in my music studio, where I teach piano. A book that was given to Thaddeus on his graduation. When he was given this book, we never dreamed about the places that he would go physically on this earth and now through his spirit in the lives of others. The poster that we have to represent the Thaddeus Lake Music Foundation is a picture of orchestrating hands. It was a picture that our daughter drew in high school. And it was one of Thaddeus's dreams to become a conductor. And so that picture describes so much to us about what he, what he wanted to do while he was here on Earth and also what he's doing now. He's orchestrating his music foundation. The community has just been so generous with their time, with their donations, with remembering who Thad was and what he represented as a musician in the community, how he loved music, how he lived music, and that is so evident now after his passing with the people that remember that about him.